Hello, this is Yanis from Money Repair. Today we will go through a notebook repair, a notebook uh, MSI MS16R31 gaming laptop that came to our lap dead. Let's go and see how we'll deal with this damage. This is the board. We have uh, put it off of its chassis and in order to check, we're going to plug our power supply unit. And you can see that is something is going wrong. This consumption is not uh, very good for a standby circuit. It is something boiling here when I'm touching my finger. I will use some isopropylic, no need of a thermal camera, to trace uh, that heat. It is uh, very high. So let's go and see. We can see that uh, we are having a resistor with a hole on it, so we'll use our multimeter and check the ohm, the resistance to ground, which is very high on this side of the resistor and very low on this side of the resistor. I think that uh, this chip have uh, has short circuit. That's why. Uh, the resistor got a hole because uh, a lot of amperes that uh, could not uh, handle the resistor could not handle just burn this uh, resistor. Now we must uh, use our hot air gun and our tweezer in order to remove this uh, chip. This chip uh, is a voltage supervisor and uh, must be removed. It's checking the voltage input and output. It's a, it is, uh, an architecture that MSI configured. So, uh, this uh, resistor is good. The pins around the chip are good, no welding from the short circuit. So we must uh, remove and replace this uh, resistor. As you can see now, there's no sort. And the value is uh, around seven and a half kilo ohms. In this value, the, beside, beside the, the resistor with a hole in it, is uh, about 12.5 kilos. So, let's take some measurements in uh, ohm scale. We have a very low 3 volt coil value. We have a normal 5 volt coil. We have a near death value on the coil that feeds the PCH. So the, this PCH is very wrong, it must be removed. That's why the 3 volt uh, coil has uh, so low ohms value to ground. So we must uh, check again with our microscope. Let us zoom better, let us focus. This uh, coil on the right is uh, the 3 volt coil that uh, has a very, very low ohm resistance to ground. And this, this little coil has very, 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 very low ohm resistance to ground and it is feeding directly the PCH. I will remove this uh, M2 screw in order to see the PL14 is the coil that feeds directly the PCH. So this 
so you can see it uh, on the traces, uh, no need of uh, schematics or something. So we have removed already the PCH, we're very quick, and uh, the measurements are very, very different. We have uh, a lot of ohms on both PCH and 3 volt rail, also in the 5 volt rail. So the short uh, has gone from both coils. It is time to replace the PCH. I will leave my props down and very quickly I will choose the PCH and replace it. Here we are. Very quick. Very quick replacement. And uh, the ohms value of the PCH are no is normal uh, with uh, the opposite direction of the probes. We will have around uh, 35 and uh, 45 ohms that are very normal for a PCH. We will check the 3 volt rail, the 3 volt coil, which is very, very high now, and this is good. We have uh, GPU, GPU very low resistance that is very normal. It is very normal, the coils that are feeding the, C the PCH, the coils are feeding the GPU and the CPU to be very, very low in ohms. We have already got our new voltage supervisor from China and we are going to replace it. We have already replaced uh, the resistor that uh, had a hole in it. Here is the supervisor. We must align it and solder it back on the board. We will use some flux. We will uh, use our soldering pen in order to apply some fresh solder on the pins and the pad to make the soldering easier. Maybe it is too much, but it's okay. We're applying the fresh uh, solder on the pins in order to attach by using the our, our hot air gun. We will clean up the solder that is in the middle, the ground pan, that was uh, a lot. It is two, but uh, while pressing, the excess solder will flow and uh, will be cleaned from the pads. Now it's time for alignment and soldering. Let's align the C properly. The dot is always number one. The most of the times is number one. And the other times we're wrong. <laughs> it is always the number one. So we're going to heat up uh, the area with our Water gun, high temperature, low air, we don't want to lose anything around the chip.
I will press down. You will see the X soldier to flow. You can see it now. Now the chip is attached to the ground pad properly. We will clean uh, with our soldering pen the area around. No bridge is allowed. Flux always uh, making things easier. We're doing the pins and the pads in order to have uh, a good amount of uh, solder in order to be a proper solder job. No bridge is allowed. No shoulder barbs allowed. And uh, as soon, soon as uh, We think that we have done a proper job. We will clean with isopropylic alcohol and cotton pad. We must clean in order to see what work we have done. And uh, remove the burn flax, which is not good to be left on the board. And now, after all this job, we have placed uh, our thermal heat, uh, thermal pad on the PCH and uh, the heatsink on the gaming notebook that uh, needs the heat the heatsink in order to work properly we don't want to risk anything the power supply works and uh, the bios plus screen has appeared so we're good to go the problem is solved we will see the bios and uh, i think we have uh, successfully repair this uh, notebook and our client is very pleased. That was the repair as you saw. If you like this video, consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another repair. Bye.